a given point. Okay, we are like okay. It's light, right?
Okay, um, you done now, right? I'm gonna post it. I'm just gonna get a clean picture of the church and then. Try to follow that you come in and okay. don't worry. We're in light right now, so. Thank you. 
next year.
You 
together for this beautiful bridal party. Aren't they looking awesome? You do better than that. These ladies put a lot of work into uh, preparing themselves. And um, are these uh, gentlemen looking distinguished today? And uh, we want to say welcome to all of you and uh, thank you all for making the sacrifice to be here in such a special occasion and for Bridget and Michael and um, I know Michael is uh, a little nervous so <laughs> you're gonna have to just um, shake him here. we're gonna try to make him as nervous as we can uh -huh. and uh, stretch it out as long as we can he's been waiting a long time you can wait a couple more hours Michael so uh, let's put our hands together for them one more time All right. Marriage is as old as a family of man and it was given by our Creator in the Garden of Eden in the state of innocence. Moses, the lawgiver, first gave legal sanction uh, to this uh, wonderful institution called marriage. And uh, Jesus, uh, also when he was on earth, he gave it spiritual sanction. Uh, in the quiet bowers of Eden, God saw that it was not good for man to be alone. And so he made a help meet suitable for him and establish the right of marriage while heavenly hosts of heaven witnessed this wonderful scene. Uh, God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and from his side he took a rib and made him a wife. He took her from under his arms so he would protect her. He took her from above his feet so that he would not step on her. And also he took her from uh, next to his heart that he might love her. Uh, originated in divine wisdom and goodness, marriage is designed uh, to promote human happiness, holiness, and this right is the foundation of the home and the strength of society. It also must remain so until the end of time. I want us to bow our heads as we pray God's blessing over this union uh, today. Father, eternal God, we thank you. We give you thanks for this day and for your many blessings in our lives, God. We thank you for the purity and the sanctity of this institution called marriage. Lord, as we are grateful today for Michael and for Bridget, whom you have brought together before your sight today in the presence of many witnesses, friends and families, to be joined together, Lord God, and to fulfill your will in their life. We pray your blessing upon this day, upon the proceedings, upon everything that we do today, that it will be bring honor and glory unto your name. We ask you, God, to bless, O oh God, each and everything that will be done, and we give you glory, we give you honor and praise, and we say in the name of Jesus Christ, somebody say amen. 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 That praise the Lord. Amen. And um, so I... Uh, want to, uh, at this time we're going to be having a uh, reading of scripture, uh, a reading of, by Miss Nastasia uh, Stevens, she'll be coming to read it this time.
Thank you, Ms. Nastasia Stevens. Thank you so much for that beautiful reading. Um, ladies and gentlemen, marriage was designed by God to reflect His glory and to provide completion for each member of the union and also to provide godly children who are taught to love righteousness. As uh, I would like for you to join hands with each other if you can. You are able to do that. y'all holding hands while they're singing. <laughs> All right. Um, as you take each other by the hand today, uh, your marriage must stand neither by the authority of the state nor by the seal of your wedding certificate, which you will sign today, but by the strength of your love for each other and um. your love for God. Always seek to build your home on a spiritual foundation. And I see you already started to do that. With God, you will have everything, and without Him, you will have nothing. And so, I want you to look each other in the eyes, and we're going to have uh, a musical selection by Miss Beverly Dixon at this time. Uh, she's going to be coming to sing. Yes. 
such a, a fun couple to be around um, and uh, most of the times I'm just trying to be serious but they're just there's one thing that they do have in their home and it's a lot of humor <laughs> and um, I think if they continue to smile and continue to have that humor in their in their home they'll be one continue to be one happy family our prayers are with them and um, I want to say how privileged I am to have spent this time with them and um, premarital counseling and, and so forth and so on and um, I've grown to really appreciate and love them and um, I'm excited for them today and I know Michael is excited to call me this morning and, uh, <laughs> and uh, started to pull some jokes with me but uh, I still love you Michael he said that he was running off somewhere but uh, he's here <laughs> all right I want you to take each other by the head one more time Michael I want you to repeat, repeat this vow to Bridget, sing after me. I, Michael, I, Michael. Take, you, Bridget, take you, Bridget, to be my wife, be my wife. To, have and to, hold. to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward. For, better, for, worse. for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer. in sickness <coughs> and in health, 
to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish until we are separated by death. Until we are separated by death. I make this vow. I make this vow in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wonderful job, sir. Now, Bridget, I'd like for you to repeat this vow to Michael, saying after me, I, Bridget. I, Bridget. Take you, Michael. Take you, Michael. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are separated by death. Until we're separated by death. I make this vow. I make this vow. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wonderful. The word of the Lord tells us what love is like and what it does. It says, like we heard read today, love is patient. We're going to need a lot of patience. Love is kind. Love is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant. It does not act unbecomingly. It does not seek its own. It is not provoked. It does not take into account a wrong suffered. It does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things. Love believes all things. Love hopes all things. Love endures all things. Love never fails. Do you have uh, rings that you like to exchange with each other today? The wedding rings serve as the symbol of covenant that you have just spoken. They are the outward and visible sign of an inward and invisible love. Don't put them on yet. Which binds your heart together. You guys have been trying to get ahead of me all day today. I want you to. <laughs> As they are of the finest of earth materials and they are beautiful. So is your love of the richest spiritual values. Today they are shining, but with wearing them, like mine, they will be weathered and worn and yet their value and worth will still continue to deepen so may your love for each other uh, uh, bear these characteristics in years to come even as you present these symbols to each other the older you go the more in love you become i want you uh michael to um not put it all away but kind of Start off the process here. All right, beautiful. Thank you hold it right there. And say after me, with this ring, I want you to say after me, with this ring, with this ring, both of them at the same time. All right. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful your faithful and loving husband and loving husband until death until death all right I want you to gently put it on her finger i want you to see if she's making any sounds like she's hurting you. <laughs> oh, you're such a gentleman let's put our hands together for michael <laughs> michael is a gentleman uh, wonderful beautiful right that's your turn bridget Go. The same thing. I want you to say after me, with this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving wife. To be your faithful and loving wife. Until death. Until death. All right. Now you can just put it on any way you want to feel. He can make noise or whatever. It doesn't matter. Oh, 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 <laughs> like uh, like a little. All right. Let's bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would bless these symbols of love and devotion that you've just exchanged 
these rings, God, in their exchange, that they'll be continually re reminders of the value of the worth, God, of, of the love that they have for each other. And by the hearts of Michael and Bridget together, tightly cause them to, to live in peace and continue in your favor and your grace. And we ask these mercies in your precious and holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say amen. Amen. All right. Um, we're going to be moving on over to the podium area here and to be signing the certificate. So, uh, Michael, would you escort your um, lovely woman up to the front? And the two witnesses will come behind them. And Mr. DJ, Mr. Musician, help us out.
Before each of you is a container of sand, and the container of sand that represents you and all that you are, all that you were and all that you will ever be. And today you're combining all of you and your uniqueness into this final vessel, which is the middle vessel. And just as these grains of sand can no longer be separated into their individual containers, Again, so your marriage and your lives will forever be intertwined.
They are being so careful here. I wish we could all see this. <laughs> None's going to waste. <laughs> I'll stand together one more time. I want you just to take each other by the hand one more time. We're going to pray together. And if you know how to pray in your own way, let's pray over uh, Michael and Bridget. Um, we need love. We need communication. We need a lot of things to have a successful marriage. And uh, we also need continued uh, uh, sprucing up, I guess, of, of marriages along the way, seminars, books, anything that we can do to, to enhance our, our, and enrich our marriages along the way. Not just today. Today is just one day. But I believe most of all, we need the Lord to give us the strength and to give us the courage to to be able to uh, to make it through all of life's ups and downs. So um, more than just being witnesses here today, I want us to pray and to cover them with our prayers. Can we just pray together for them right now? Father Jesus' name, we thank you, God, for Michael and Bridget. We thank you, Jesus, for God bringing them together. Lord Jesus, we know that today was not the exact day they planned, that place that they planned, but They've somehow been able to smile through the challenges and the storms and been able to make even this day a special one for both of them. And we are all here today, privileged and honored to be able to celebrate with them and be a part of this special and unique day that only can happen, only happens one time, once in a lifetime. And we pray and give you thanks. We worship you and glorify you for this day today. For causing the snow to fall so much over the week, but then allowing it to stop so that we could have this beautiful day. For waking us up and giving us life and strength and forgiving us, Lord Jesus. Oh God, health.
to be able to enjoy this day with them. We pray that you will cover them right now. God, from this day forward, that your presence will be with them, that the Spirit of the Lord will cover them, will keep them, and will give them the strength that they need and the love, God. When, when that, that phase, oh God, Lord Jesus, begins to change and begins to adjust with age, with time, with the things that are happening around us, that we will stay steady like a ship. Oh God, floating on top of the waters of life, give them, God, a mighty your spirit and your anointing and your presence. Draw them closer together to each other and to you. Most of all, we pray and we give you thanks for bringing them together. But we also thank you for what you're going to do in keeping them together, Jesus. We give you praise and honor and glory. And we give the Lord God Almighty the praise today for what you've done and what you will do. And we thank you, Lord Jesus. Let your blood cover them. In Jesus' name we pray. And somebody say amen. 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 Would you clap your hands to the for the Lord one more time and for them? So you have come before Almighty God and before us and have expressed your desires to be husband and wife. You have shown your love and affection by joining hands and exchanging vows to each other. And you have sealed the vows by giving and exchanging rings and also with the the sand ceremony and now I therefore now pronounce that you are there's an icing on the cake here where Richard is full of surprises today we, she has um, a uh, they would like to share uh, their personal vows before we have the pronouncement. <laughs> so uh, we do have extra mics that are um, that have been sanitized that nobody, no one has used. If you want to use that, by with the song manners. We were supposed to say personal vows, but I know that Lance was happy when he skipped over it. <laughs> Today, as I stand before my family and friends in our virtual ceremony, I want to publicly declare my love for you. This started over a decade and a half ago, and today we're here. Thank you for choosing me to be your wife and join our life as one before God. You have taught me what real love is and how to love unconditionally. You have shown me that you will be a great husband, and I have no doubt in my mind that life will be better with you. You're a great man. You're a great protector and a good provider with great quality. I vow to always support you and inspire you. I vow to be your helpmate and your caregiver for our family. I promise to love you today and forever. I'll be your, by your side in the good times, and I also be there during the bad times. I know deep down in my heart, God created you for me. And after the planning of being on the beach in Jamaica, God led us to this holy house. I look forward to you kissing me the last thing every night and kissing me the first thing in the morning. Kissing me when you come in and kissing me when you go out. <laughs> this is just another step in our lifelong journey. And I look forward to taking this eternal journey with you. What can I say? Whoa. Beautiful wife here, Bridget, but she's um, mm -mm. <laughs> maybe it's not gonna be like authentic, like here, but from my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bridget, today I take you as my wife, my partner for life. And as my best friend, I vow to love you more each and every day. I will always be honest and patient with you. 
I vow to always be there when you need me the most. I promise to all my life I will live for you. No one has ever made me feel so much love. I can be myself, and if I even need to cry, I can do so freely and not have to lie, nor run away from my feelings. Because I have got everything I need in you and me. For the first time, I can stand in front of someone and just let my love spill over. Can finally let someone all the way inside. The only person that owns a bigger part of my heart than you is God. So today, I give myself over to you, body and soul. I give it all over. Knowing this is a brand new day in our life, and I don't want to be without you. So Bridget, love of my life, today I hand myself all over to you, knowing it's the right time and you're the right person to have the right life with. Love you always, my love. I don't know if there, are there any other surprises? <laughs> now I therefore now pronounce that you are a husband and wife in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless and keep you and give you peace. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. And what God has joined together, let no man separate. And so, Mr. Michael, would you greet your lovely wife, Bridget? With a hug. With... <laughs> you said kisses, huh? With a kiss. With a kiss? Yes, sir. Good baby. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Michael and Bridget Stevens. Let's put our hands together for them.
Ветер поет. I want to beat right? you over there so I, I can get you right? coming out of the car okay. and stuff. Say bye. Okay. Yeah. See you guys at 5 for the reception. Yeah. Yeah, over here too. Chaka chaka. You know what I'm saying. Thank yeah. you. Okay, so. um. Ya estamos, ya estamos. Okay, ya. Yeah. Okay, everything. So, yes, Huh? Ya, ya está haciendo live stream. How is everything sound like? Is it okay? Hi, mate. Yes, that's fine. Okay, I've been many things, but MC is not one of them. Hi, mate. Hi, mate. Like you know, I understand. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine.
Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, as husband and wife,
right behind you.
more of a party animal.
I was a mere eight to ten feet away during the revelation of this emotional tension. My nerves shaken with confusion and disbelief. While experiencing stories, I never skip to the end. No matter the emotional agony in the story, no matter the emotional agony, and in the story of Bridget, I had no way of skipping ahead. However, although I never said it, I just felt like that night in 2020 was not the end of the beautiful story. I became even more fascinated with the idea when the path was clear for resolution. But then Bridget shocked me with the name Michael. My heart dropped. Who is this Michael and from whence did he come out of the blue? Bridget, as Lance was present in the flesh, showering 